Hi, boys and girls. Today, we our learning target is I can draft the middle of my narrative by showing, not telling, and adding adverbs. We practice writing hooks or leads for the beginning of our narrative. Today, we will continue drafting out the parts of our story by using adverbs to show, not tell, what the character is doing, right? And we're, we're the characters in our story. We're the main character. So we are still in drafting. We're still taking everything from our, from our graphic organizer and putting it into writing. So we still are drafting. So remember, boys and girls, the point of drafting is to get your story out. We don't, don't worry too much on spelling. Don't worry too much about if it sounds right. Mostly get your story out in writing. So our learning target says that we're gonna use adverbs. Repeat after me, adverbs. Your turn. An adverb describes a verb, an action word, or an adjective. It tells how, how, how often, when, and where. Okay, these are some examples of adverbs. When you say how something happens, was it easily, loudly, happily, quickly, slowly, sadly, silently? How often? Every day, often, when? After, early, where was it? So I'm not reading all of them, but you're, you're going to see that by using some of these words, it helps you sound like a storyteller. It helps you show exactly what's happening in your story. And it makes the reader, the person reading your story, feel like they are there with you. So when I say showing, not telling, here's some examples. I looked at my chart. And I looked at the middle part that I wrote for my personal narrative. What happened in the middle of the story? We walked quickly. We saw chipmunks. We realized we were walking for too long. We were lost. So I took a few of those. And this is me telling, right? I, I can say we walked fast. We saw, chip, we saw a chipmunk. We were lost. Or... I can add an adverb, I can add an adverb to really show you instead of telling you. So for example, instead of walked fast, I can change that to our legs moved quickly up the mountain. Now I'm actually showing you exactly how I was walking and I used the adverb quickly. Instead of writing, I saw a chipmunk, I can really show exactly at the moment how I saw it. So I wrote, I noticed something move near the bushes. When I looked closer, and then I would say, when I, I, I saw it was a chipmunk. Or I can say, I saw two brown eyes staring back at me. Okay, and then instead of saying we were lost, it, I'm going to sound like a storyteller. I'm going to show you. Suddenly, we realized we were not on the same, we were not on the same path, right? So I'm showing you that I got lost. So that's what I really want you to work on today when you're writing out your personal narrative. So just Really quickly, I want you to stop this video. Your teacher is going to stop this video. Which sounds more like a storyteller? And what makes it sound like a storyteller? Pause the video to discuss. So I'm going to pause it right now. Why does the sign showing show us sound more like a storyteller? So just to review the process, we planned out our story, then we worked on a beginning. I'm gonna use out of all of these, I really liked sound and description, and I kind of put them together for my beginning, you'll see. So here's me drafting it out. I wrote it beforehand. So this is my beginning. My beginning said, wanted to get to the lake, mapped out our five mile hike, prepared our backpack, started our journey, so here, crackle, crunch, snap. 
The twigs underneath my foot made loud noises as I ran from my tent to fill my backpack with everything I would need for the seven mile hike. Our campsite smelled like burning wood from the night before. My friend Jessica and I couldn't wait to get to the lake and cool off. So that's my beginning. I have, I catch the reader's attention. I tell where I'm at, right? I, I tell you what the setting is and I tell you what we're gonna go do and who, what other characters are there. It's me and my friend Jessica. So now I'm gonna rewrite the middle part. I'm gonna actually write it out. And I'm thinking about showing, not telling. So I wrote, our hike started off peacefully. Our legs moved quickly through the woods as we followed the yellow markers on the trees. These markers let you know which direction to go and keep you on the right path. Then I heard something move in the bushes. I looked closely and saw a baby chipmunk with dark eyes stare back at me. Then we noticed we had been walking for too long. We realized we were not on the same path anymore. This took me a while, okay, friends? This, this story is going to take you a while to really show exactly what's happening. You want to put yourself in that moment and describe everything like I did, right? Don't show me what you're doing. Don't tell me what you're doing. Show me. Show me what was happening in your story. Now you will be drafting the middle part of your story by showing, not telling. Remember, use your personal graphic organizer. Tomorrow we will continue drafting out the end of our personal narrative, okay? Really quickly, let me just show you. Actually, I'll show you at the end of the video. Um, closing, now you will be drafting the middle part of your story by showing, not telling. Okay, so yeah, so do you know what to do when you get on Otis? If you are unsure what to do, you can watch the video again and pause it to make sure you understand, ask a teacher, or just attempt it and see where it goes. Go ahead and write in the chat where you're feel feeling fist to five with our learning target. I can draft the middle of my narrative by showing, not telling, and adding adverbs. All right, friends, good luck and get to writing.